Off when the road in blue again, and the hills in the mountain will too. But always remember, the hills ahead are never as steep as you see. Put faith in your hearts and start upwards and climb. Climb till you reach your dreams. For nothing in life that is worthy is ever too hard to achieve. If you have the courage to try it, and you have the faith to believe. For faith is a mover of mountains. There's nothing that God cannot do. Put faith in your heart and start upwards and climb, climb to your dreams come true. Welcome to the second and final part of Journey, Aging in St. Kitts and Nevis. We continue by recognizing that our older ones live longer because of the care that they receive within our homes. We cannot forget our own private citizens who consistently care for their aging relatives at home. We realize that caring for the elderly demands special sacrifice. Such a vocation requires special graces from God and can often be a thankless and stressful undertaking. Yet, such care is imperative if we are to assist our aging seniors in living full, dignified and comfortable lives. Nothing is wrong with um, going to a home whatsoever. Nothing is wrong with that. If you find it difficult, you have families, you have to work hard and look after. So you find that. But we always say it is best to stay in your family setting. When you move them, you disrupt their memory and everything and they get disenchanted and they don't know where they are, etc. So we always do that to keep sure. them as long as you can in their home, look after them. And now that we have so many different help around to assist you and we are small in stature, we are very small, you can reach anywhere in a quick time. Yes. <laughs> and I believe that we do not really look out for our seniors. What bugs me, let's worry, is that we have our seniors, we have our older folks, and we do not care for them. We push them aside. We sometimes we don't, you ask them, the persons, when last you say, I don't know, you get them. But when they die, when they pass, I would start driving mm -hmm. from Parsons Village, and when I reach Keon, the announcement is still going on. The yes. death announcement. Yes. Long and drawn out with right. all kind of names and everything. And when that person was alive, you cannot see one person right. to be there to help you. Or that person is looking for a, a cup of tea right. or lunch. Nothing. Right. But give us or give them their flowers when they are living. Look after them. Don't wait until they're gone and you don't know. And then this long thing with all these fancy names and all these things and so on. And this big, nice big Thing and flowers full of, no doesn't make sense don't make sense i mm. do not like to see it and it disturbed me when i see that look after there are a lot of persons eh, who care for their people sure and look after them i applaud them i even there's a gentleman i'm sure. telling you from Keon. sure mr isaac he came home to look after his mother a young man, not a woman, a man, came home to look after his mother. His sister came home also. And she actually got down. And he is now caring for his sister and his mother. And he's doing that. We we need more persons like this to care for sure. our persons. Long life is a blessing. And I marvel today at how well all of our centurions look. It means that you have had the blessing from above and it also means that in this earthly situation in which we find ourselves, you are able to get the love, the care and the attention and family support. And so I want to especially compliment those family members who take a personal interest in their loved one and ensure that they obtain all the necessities that are required. Have our older persons been able to function in the society that is St. Kitts and Nevis? The more younger folks would look at them and say, look the old man, yes. look, look at him. Yes. Instead of trying to help him because one day you might, I'm not saying you will, you might reach that age. 
So they speak about that. The other thing that again is the buses. Uh, for example, getting into town, coming in sometime, they will try to stop a vehicle and they just pass yes. unless they really don't have anybody in them mm -hmm. and they let them beg in so they stop. They see and them as a burden. burden to them. They're moving they keep too it, slow. They're moving too slow. And I'm pleading to the public, let us, you know, cherish our, they are, they are our gems. Let us don't treat them that way. You see yes. them, you try to help them instead of nodding. I give credit to Nevis yes. because Nevis has gone since last year and do adopt where the buses are giving a concession to seniors at a cheaper rate and taking them here and take we here i don't know what but the bus mm -hmm. association or they with the government have done that we are not getting that far mm -hmm. and uh, up to just the other day i saw a gentleman trying to stop the bus and he was very slow on the bus just drive mm -hmm. and i'm i'm asking i'm playing maybe i'm now saying that the government will be time for us to see if we can get some donors or donor and yes. get a bus that can accommodate our seniors with wheelchair access sure. and uh, take them around sure. have a pickup point and <clears throat> look after our seniors because they are living longer and they are our gem and we showed that we care several of the local senior care facilities offer daycare service enabling some family members to work during the day and care for their aged loved ones when they go home at evenings. The Community Development and Social Services Department encouraged the formation of the Golden Years Club as one social activity. We started with our Golden Years Club. Yes. We had Golden Years Club in Teon and in St. Paul, which was very good. But here I'm not blaming uh, the public I'm blaming us and uh, mm -hmm. other person. Sometimes our seniors do not want to be, maybe because of the stigma, don't want to be in that category, that seniors. Yes. They don't want to go because they are class, oh, those seniors. But we have to get away from that. The Golden Years Club, and we would like to see throughout the entire island, and we use our community centers much more. And then that will force our hand to maybe get our bus or other things mm -hmm. where they come out during the day, they socialize, they play games, they have exercise. At one time, Mr. Earl Clark, yes, back then, sure. we used to have a vibrant thing where he will come out and do exercise, show them even though that you're walking, you can take your stick and do exercise. We do crochet, we used to do different things. The interaction between the old and the young in any society cannot be taken for granted. We used to do a lot of visit with children, go mm -hmm. out to from the schools that mm -hmm. would visit birthdays, go out with us and sure. visit. And then we will ask them to adopt that person as their grandmother or mother as the case granddad. Sure. And that was very good. We like to see that again. But this time we had this lady who says she haven't seen her grandchildren for years. She don't know how they look now. Mm -hmm. And that pains me to see, you know, you're right there in the, between the village. Mm -hmm. So I went to the school and we decided to take the children. And I especially asked for those two, not telling the teacher or anybody why. Right. And we took them. And then at the end, I gave, also gave those two children the basket and the card. Sure. And asked them, oh, now you're dropping and give her a kiss and so on. And the woman felt so good. And afterwards, and I told her, those were your grandchildren sure and she broke down in tears and this is what i'm speaking about we need to to let this bond between our children grandchildren mm -hmm. and so on don't keep them away from them and then if you do that again i repeat it will grow in them that they must care for other seniors not just their own but other seniors in terms of getting around in bastia several entities have been accommodating to seniors the banks and other business places also went and built ramps to accommodate them and also have a, a, a line especially for seniors. But I must say, even I sometimes get carried away when people look at me and say, what are you doing on that line? And mm -hmm. some seniors don't want to go in the seniors line because people are looking <laughs> at them. But it yes. is there. We should be proud to know that we have done what we have done for the country and we reached that stage because many of those have not reached and will not reach. Sure. So I am appealing to our people to accept 
ageism. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is not to still, accept ageism? No, no, to accept to accept that you're older, older persons, persons and, and stand against yes, mm -hmm. and stand against that. And uh, when we are there, we in line, and then you're looked after with dignity. Don't feel ashamed to know that you're you're a senior. So go into the the, the lines. And also, we are again pleading to our persons in the community to come back and let us start our Golden Age Club again throughout the entire village. Dementia is a health matter that has to be faced by the aging population and those who care for them. I would like to say and encourage our persons out there, especially persons with Alzheimer's. It's a very difficult, very, very difficult thing. And you, the caregiver, or the family who are looking after sometimes want to throw your hands up in the air and so on. But we have to really understand it and learn about it because they have a good day and they have a bad day. Today they are quite good and they know everything and then tomorrow is something else. And then you think, oh, she, she playing smart. Yesterday so and so and no, it is not that. And then they also remember from a baby. They remember what happened when there was a ch one child. But the things happen now. Yes. They don't remember because of the brain. So we have to give and take. Don't think that they are fooling you or they're playing smart. It is just a stage. And now we are seeing it more. Long term, I don't know if it was there, we didn't know it was that. But we are seeing that so much now that Alzheimer's has taken over a lot, even younger persons. And it is a problem with us. We have to go there. They say you steal the stuff. You take up the things, you go into their home and try to help them, you, you teeth the days, you take up that when it isn't true. Barbados Alzheimer's Association hosted the third regional Caribbean conference on Alzheimer's and dementia on February 25th to 27th, 2016. One presenter was Vivette Kramer, who explained that as someone living with dementia, she often feels lost, confused, unsure, unclear, perplexed, disoriented, and bewildered. Her expectation from caregivers is trust and understanding, cooperation and assistance, respect and good communication. Other illnesses include non-communicable diseases. These are uh, metformin, he's taking for the sugar. Um, he did not complain for any pain this morning, so I can give him the Voltaren. It is there for when he has a pain. There's the other tablets, two others that he's supposed to take that finish this week. So tomorrow is doctor day up here. I'm looking forward to have um, the doctor write a new prescription for Mr. Thompson. This Mr. Thompson, this color of tablet is through when? What time is he supposed to take this again? This one here, this yellow one. And you're supposed to take this yellow one? Oh, night. Okay, night. Very good. And this one is to take when? Nine. Okay, so you're going to take this one for me, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. I would like you to drink all the water. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes, just what you said. Yes. That's all the water. I that's see that. that's just okay. a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to be dehydrated in any way. And when I'm going to leave, I will fold the glass and leave it right here. Because you have these tablets to take in the evening. The evening tablets is pinned with an orange clothespin. And the neck. And the morning tablets is uh, the, the, the white clothespin. See? Yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? Oh, no, because I'm busy you? putting in, but when you put down the cup, I'll see. Very yeah, good. Not, not, not draining in that box. Not one drain. You drink all. Oh, I feel proud of you. Very it's good. Opinion. As part of the membership of our society, how should we treat our older ones? And can the current younger generation learn anything from our example? They are good ideas. If you listen sometimes, they are the, some senior ones have some real because it came by practice. And they fall down, they get up, they dust off. Yes. So they know what they are speaking about. You know. So I would like to see more. Well, you try to learn from the more senior ones instead of bashing them. 
I started that from a, as I tell you from a child my grandmother took me out and I have the love for it and I continue and that's why I said it starts from home mm -hmm. and once you do that it will grow on you it, it will come a part of you sure and I love it and I, when you hear me I mean it I it's it did not no lip service I love what I'm doing and I care for persons and I genuinely genuine go out and do my work without fear or favor. The passion that I had afterward and my husband was that um, a lot of the medication cannot be taken without food and, uh, and when I go into the home to assist with the medication I realized that they weren't the food there to go with the medication that they have to take. You know when you the, that's the order from the doctor. It's written on the prescription tie um, envelope. And if you proceed by giving the medication without food, there's another problem there by itself. And so my husband will go home and cook. Or if I know that before, I will prepare what I have. But the big falling out was that a lot of times when I go home, he will cook off the food and carry it all over the place. And he said, man, we could eat bread, but well, you know, the old people, them want a little food. I just want to just thank God so much that he gave me the strength. Sometimes that's what I get up for. Give me the strength and courage. And uh, with a supervisor like Miss Wiggly, a pushing person, the, the, the older folks say, I, I am pushing. I want the best for them. And she will say, just go out there and do government work. Do your best. All I'm asking you to do your best. You can't do more than your best. And so I always endeavor to do my best. And I remember her words because they were genuine, genuine words. Just do your best. And I just want to thank Miss Wiggly for still encouraging us to do our best because that's what the Lord say only your best is good enough thank you so much thank you the approval of centenarian day annually on may 31st was a start but what's in the future for our older ones the united nations population fund and several other renowned international agencies have forecast that the percentage of older ones in our global populations is set to increase as the years go by. The UN Population Fund, UNFPA, has determined that people aged 60 and older accounted for 12.3% of our global population in 2015. By the year 2050, this number will rise to approximately 22% almost a quarter of our global headcount. This means that member countries of the UN must continue, if not all cases, accelerate our socio-economic and political programs to ensure that we can take care of this vulnerable and growing segment of our population. With that commitment from government, let's hear from some of the older ones themselves. Thank God I am around still. And may the Lord God bless you all too. Go back home, we safe. Mm -hmm. And I always remember my friend, Maul, uh -huh. and she does send to me very nice. Very good, I said yes. to hear that. Yes, yes. 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 yes, yes. She come and she come around and she clean, mm -hmm. and she make me happy. Wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. yes. and good. I thank her a lot. We are here to wish you happy birthday. Yes. Yes, you're batting well. <laughs> huh? You are batting well, a hundred not out. Yeah, a hundred. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much more I have to go, but I, I bet a hundred. Well, it's just God. Trust I believe God. you. That is the key to everything. Yeah. Trust God. Trust okay? And trust you have it. Yeah. Trust, trust him and go and praise him. Exactly. Exactly. Pray to him, ask him, and it's a, it's a command to me now that he lay back. And a heavy laden. Yes. And I will give yes. you rest. Yes. Yes. Exactly. No, you only know how to go to God and ask That know? is so true. That yes. is so true, Mr. Pemberton. Yes. He, he knows you do it. He knows you do it. Exactly, because well, he, uh, he altered all of our days from the beginning. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. He knows what to do with that and he knows how to do it. Well, thank the Lord for sparing my life to see. I read the age of that. My mother died when she was 45. Wow. She went to get an operation and she said, Ruby, I'm going to get an operation and I'm 45 years old. I said to her, Mom, am I going to live to come to your age? 
He said, darling, everything is in the hands of the Lord. And praise the Lord, I reached it and passed it. Amen. And I am happy about it. To know that I'm going hard for a hundred. Yeah, 96. Four more years from now, I'll be a hundred. I didn't have it in life. I do not know my mother. Mm -hmm. And when she didn't sit down, she said, I want to live. Any more things live the age I'm living. Mm -hmm. But I know how the uncle, he lived for 90 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got him by 10 now and four months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, so, yes. Thank God, I'm thank yes, God, I'm thank God. So much, thank yeah. God. Yes. Okay. yes. So I'm glad for you all. Yes. I'm so glad I'm, for you too. I continue to wait for you all. Thank you for joining us for Journey. Aging in St. Kitts and Nevis. We hope that in this SKNIS program, we have given you a greater appreciation of our older ones and shown you how aging takes place in St. Kitts and Nevis. We give one of our older ones the final say. I am a stranger here within a foreign land. My home is far away upon a golden strand ambassador to be of Ramsby on the sea I'm here on business for my king